discipline activity to condition your body as well as maximize your training efforts. It conditions not only strength as well as cardio, but it also burns a lot of calories. So I have some great drills that you can do to incorporate into your next workout. You'll do your own dynamic warm up as well as your own cool down. And you wanna make sure that you perform each exercise for 10 reps, two sets through. So let's go ahead and learn these drills. We'll start out with a jump front kick. You wanna have your incline at the highest level and attach your squat stand. Come down onto your glide board, place your feet onto the squat stand and have your hips at the bottom of the glide board. You're gonna chamber up one leg, you'll bend the knee, and as you do with the jump, you're gonna kick the leg out in front of you. And you can change the angle of the kick to be right in front of you or up high. You just wanna make sure that you have your timing, that you're kicking whenever you're jumping. And of course, you'll change legs. Then you'll transition onto your side for jump side kicks. So go into a sideline position, rest your head down into your arms, and you'll hold onto the side of the glide board. You'll chamber up the top leg, bend the knee, and as you jump, you want to kick out the leg. You want to make sure that your hips stay nice and aligned. You want to make sure that you're keeping your core engaged at all times. Lead with the heel as you're kicking. And this is a great drill to get your timing as well as single leg strength. So be sure to do this one on the other side. You'll lower your incline to a low to a medium incline depending on your fitness level. You'll also connect the cables. So we're going to come down to a kneeling position. So you'll anchor down. You're going to angle your body so that you're diagonally facing the tower. You're going to bring your arms up into your fighting stance. You'll go into one back fist followed by a front jab. Now this is pretty challenging because you have to really minimize the movement in your hips when you're in a kneeling position. You want to take this to a little bit more core stability and challenge, you come up into that high kneeling position. Now it does make it a little bit easier because you have full range of motion, but it definitely challenges your core and your upper body strength. Be sure to do this exercise on both sides. Next, we'll move into one front punch followed by an uppercut. So take the cables in your hand space away from your tower. You can come in either into a seated, kneeling, or high kneeling position. So I'm going to go into the kneeling position. Place one hand into an upper grip. The opposite hand is going to come up by your ears into your fighting stance. The cable will be closest to your body. So you're going to execute a front punch with that arm followed by an uppercut of the bottom arm. So it's one front punch, one uppercut. Now from a seated or a kneeling position, you're gonna have limited range of motion. Now if you wanna challenge yourself in your core stability, you can come up into that high kneeling position. Be very careful so that you keep your balance and keep your core engaged at all times. This will allow you to execute more power through the punch. So be sure to do this exercise on both sides. You'll remove the cable for the last two exercises. This next one is called gliding burpees followed by target punches. So you're gonna face at the tower, plant your hands onto the glide board, and you're gonna glide out into a forearm plank, known as a burpee, bring your legs in, hop up, punching two, three, four. Glide in, press out, hop in and up, punch two, three, four. So you can add a little bit of speed, power, directional punches, so you just wanna Keep the rhythm going and work on your coordination as well as your direction of your punches. And the last exercise is called plank kick through followed by a jump for explosive power. So you're going to come facing your tower, open up through the glide board, keep your shoulders on top of your wrist, your core engaged, and your legs long. Lift up through one leg, you're going to kick through and then out to the side. So you're swiveling through the hips using your leg strength upper body strength and core power. Once you've done about 10 reps, you'll come down and add some jumps. And then you'll go to the other side. Kicking through, keeping that glide board open will really challenge your upper body strength and core ability. Once you're done, come back in again and add jumps. Incorporating kickboxing into your workout will maximize your cardio and strength efforts. Plus, you'll burn a lot of calories and see great results. So get your body moving to become a lean fighting machine.
kickboxing is an excellent activity to condition your body as well as maximize your training efforts. It conditions not only strength as well as cardio, but it also burns a lot of calories. So I have some great drills that you can do to incorporate into your next workout. You'll do your own dynamic warm-up as well as your own cool-down. And you want to make sure that you perform each exercise for 10 reps 